Hello and uh, welcome to what I uh, realise is probably my first tutorial video for an EVE FPS shooter since the Dust514 days. Um, so uh, obviously if you don't know who I am, I am Denny Fleetfoot, CEO of Dust University and I thought I'd give you a little tutorial of, uh, of um, my use of eVanguard because I can't use a mouse and keyboard. I have an uh, issue with my left hand which in, uh, doesn't allow me to use WASD so I have to use controller. But as you probably already know, eVanguard is currently a pre-alpha build game and therefore it doesn't have anything in the way of controller support to the game. So I have to use Steam uh, uh, controller input uh, overlay for myself. It's a relatively simple process to do. Um, I'm sure you're very familiar with how you uh, link a game to uh, your Steam library. As you can see, I've got it running here. I've got uh, eVanguard or rather eVe Online. It's very important that you add EVE Online to the Steam game rather than try to add Vanguard, the executable. Otherwise, the um, anti-cheat software kicks in and it won't let you go so far. So make sure you actually have EVE Online. And the launchers already will have Vanguard up on there. Obviously, I'm not going to show you my launch because I don't, you know, I don't want you to see all my different accounts and what have you. But uh, I'll just uh, come over to the screen here and I'll click on that controller here and then as you can see I've got the current button layout here so e Danny V for e Vanguard view layout there so if I quickly just go through here how way I've got it all up um, I've got uh, crouches linked to the uh, st the button on the uh, left joystick and I've got it mapped so as soon as I move the joystick to its extremity all the way to the outer ring then sprint will kick in if i take pull it away a little bit then uh, i'll slow down to a walk uh, i've also got a couple of other features of the game link linked to it at the moment so we've got uh, the log screen there which is your um, um uh, basically all your missions and everything like that uh, crafting the flashlight is on uh, the left hand side of the uh, d-pad and uh, if I press the right on the d-pad and hold it down that heals me um, I've also changed uh, the Y button which would normally be a torch um, I've changed it to the inventory button and but if I double press it it will then do the middle mouse click which enables me to uh, highlight something on the map for, if I bring that up uh, menus the escape key uh, left key, mouse click is fire obviously deployables that's on my upper button as well and on my uh, left button here a left shoulder button I've got the ammo type if I go back now if I um, go on to there you'll actually see that I have already shared the uh, uh, go, sorry go back there um, I've actually shared it a couple times so you should be able to find this on the community um, ev on the steam community uh, downloads if you want to do that and you can download it yourself and then tinker with it to your heart's content um, this system actually works with every controller so you can use the ps4 the ps5 um, anything that's got a usb stick to it you can configure to it uh, even works with the uh, uh, the switch pro controller as well um, but uh, like I say no dilly dilly, uh, dilly dally now i'll uh, quickly go over to uh, vanguard so as you can see Kevin Longstride is my uh, Merc name. It was the name I had in Dust 5 and 4, and thanks very much to CCP Carbon for getting that back for me. So if I uh, go into Enter here, as you can see, I'm just bringing it up. Now if I pick up my controller, what you can actually see there is by using the right stick, I am actually moving the cursor there. But obviously if I'm a menu system like this, I can just uh, go into uh, using the normal mouse. If I go to the settings here, I'll just show you. All these buttons here, unfortunately, uh, can't be changed. Well, not all of them, some can. But it's best for when you're mapping to a controller in this particular pre-alpha build to just not mess around with these at all. Keep them as they are and just then configure them to the buttons that there are on your controller. So if we go ready, I'll just uh, dive in myself quickly on my little lonesome waiting for the very very trippy uh, matchmaking symbol there so here we are on the loading screen it'll just jerk a little momentarily while it goes in like I say it's very pre-alpha this game 
And there you go. I'm now running around moving the controller. So like I say, like I said, if I just walk, push the left stick a little bit, I'm walking. But if I push it all the way, I'll go into sprint. ADS there. I've got crouch down on the button on the left stick. I've got melee sorted to the stick on uh, the uh, button on the left stick. And like I say, I can just happily run around. Obviously, I don't have any form of auto aim on this, so uh, it's just sheer skill that's getting me into it. I'm going to quickly see if I can find someone to shoot. Chances are they'll find me very quickly. But if I go into ADS here and uh, look down, I can... there you go. You can see that I'm controlling the drift on the uh, weapon. The 5-1 sound on this is pretty good, actually. But if I call up... Uh, there we go. I can call up the deployables here. I can call up the mission log. Crafting. Lights on. If I pre uh, I don't need to heal, but if I could press down the left on right on the D-pad, I would be able to heal. As you can see, just going around here. Ah, there we go. So here's a uh, here's some NPCs. Holding down free to heal. Let's just keep uh, dodging the bullet. Ooh, down to 19 bullets. Probably going to die here very quickly. Yay! Let's run away! Anyway. That uh, shows you the basics of it, at least. So if I call up now, leave session. There we go, back to lobby. So there you go, it's uh, relatively simple to do. Um, have a mess around, play with the buttons, you can do all sorts of things. You can have multiple presses, double press, long press, you can set up macros, um, but it's uh, but by all means, go into the community uh, downloads for in, in Vanguard. You should be able to find it. Uh, and download my own profile and then tinker to your heart's content. Anyway, um, like I say, that shows it uh, it works. And I hope to see you on the battlefield soon. And um, before then, take care. Bye now.